Okay, here I'm going to show you how to fix the buttons in your Bose remote. Um, these two remotes are look different, but they're very similar in how it all works. So I'm going to do them both at the same time. This is the Bose RC20, and this is the Bose RC5. Now both these I made the keypad smaller, um, and they got breakaway pieces. So on this one, you've got a top part here that covers those buttons, and then this part breaks away and covers the other buttons down there. And the same here, this one has a large section that covers the buttons up top, and then two pieces, one for these two and another for those three. Now these both come apart very similar, there's no screws. Uh, you take the battery cover off, and I have a flat screwdriver here that I'm just gonna use as a pry tool. Now I'm gonna start um, on this side, I'm gonna put my thumb on the, the top half of the plastic, the same size as the buttons. And I'm gonna put the screwdriver just in the gap there like that. And I'm gonna slide that, now try to, if you're really putting pressure, you don't wanna jam the screwdriver in your thumb, but I'm not really putting that much pressure. Um, and I don't have my thumb over the groove, I have it right there. Once you get it apart a little bit, you'll start to see where the snap is. And it gets tight like that, and you then with this thumb, you can squish, squeeze the housing, and it helps get that snap out without breaking it. First one's the hardest. After that, you kind of slide it up like that, and it, if it doesn't come out right away on its own, just push down like that and that helps the snap come undone. Keep going up. There we go. And that's it. Now there's one on this back edge. Um, I'm gonna try the same thing here where you go down in the, to the groove and then try to push down. No, it's not working that well. Okay. There we go. And this side now once I've got that side out, this it's much looser, so this other side should go a little bit easier without having to push down on the housing. There we go. And there, just pop right off. So uh, all these are the same, uh, the style remote. And they've got little, the battery springs come out with these little wires and you can pull that out of the, there's a little hole. It just sort of pops out. And this little one here um, might fall out, but you can probably grab the board and pull it out and see that kind of stays there. It, 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 if it falls out, you can just put it back. So now we've got it apart. Now this keypad is gonna replace the conductive contact. So the rubber keypad will push on this. This will push on the circuit board. Um, you'll see that there's only a certain amount of buttons, but this board has a ton of contacts. Uh, it's for different model remotes that aren't used for this one. You wanna make sure you clean the circuit board because uh, we don't want dirt and oil left in there to get in the way after putting the membrane keypad patch on there. Also, if there's any, if this has been fixed in the past with conductive paint or, or different methods, that can come off and get stuck in the buttons, between the buttons and cause major problems. So you re if, if that's the case, you really need to make sure you clean it well. Um, probably Q-tips, especially on the heavily used buttons, get some isopropyl alcohol on there, whoops, and uh, you know, on the maybe the volume or whatever buttons you use the most, and really make sure you get those good. So now we're ready to put the membrane on. Now you might, on this one, you might need kind of help with the rubber keypad to know which buttons you're covering. But first step is just to break this apart so it's it's got some cutout lines and should wiggle it a little bit. Oh, let's try this one first. That'll make it easier. 
that comes right off. And then this smaller one, I can wiggle more. Okay. So now I have three pieces. And you can see the keep, it's, this is upside down at this point. So it goes like that. And it's gonna come right over here and there's a couple holes to line it up. So we know where it's going. And you just peel this off the paper liner. It's easier on a uh, square corner than a rounded corner to grab that paper and then carefully just peel that off and then I'm just going to line it up with those two holes and then of course trying to keep it straight without bending it too much I want to I don't want it warped or cupped just line it up there we go I'm going to kind of touch a little bit on the edges I don't want to push in on the buttons before it's assembled so now we've got this smaller piece and there's a couple little cutouts so it lines up with the two holes down there and covers those buttons. Like that. And it should be pretty close to that. Assembled, looks good. And then the last one, you can see there's a little bit of a gap. So we're not covering the buttons right there, we're covering these buttons down here at the bottom. This one's not too critical about the orientation or anything. There's no lining up with holes or anything like that. You just want to get the black dots over the contact areas. And it goes right to the edge to edge of the board that okay and now we can just flip it over and there's four holes where the rubber keypad lines up like that and then you've got that spring contact which goes down in a groove and this one I'm gonna put back in there and that's all set you just snap it back together And all the buttons should work great now and should never wear out on you again. Now quickly I'm going to go through the, the RC5 here. Same way. Slide it up. There we go. Let's see if I can get that bottom one out easily. Yep, there we go. And then these are super easy at this point. Okay, take that out. Again, make sure you clean it up good before you stick down the membrane keypad repair. Um, and again, if you have repaired, anybody has repaired it with conductive paint, you'll be able to see it like messy or um, flaking off. Um, so, I got that all nice and clean and this is gonna this piece needs to be broken apart now if you want to you could always get out a pair of scissors to help you here there's a couple little things like that but you should be able to work at it and break it apart like that and again I'm gonna use the rubber keypad is sort of a guide although this one doesn't have all the buttons like the other ones so it's pretty obvious okay you find a square corner to peel the paper liner off from and I'm gonna line up there's three holes on this because of the rubber keypad and only two holes on the circuit board so I'm gonna take the two holes and line it up I'm not concern myself with that third one And then I got the other piece, the lower piece. Uh, and sometimes it can be a little tricky to get started, but... Oh, come on. There we go. 
and that's got three holes also and then but the two across I'm going to line up with those two like that and then you'll notice um, I'm also on that basically fits right in there so now I got it all lined up and just flip it over and put it down now this one the circuit board just kind of fits in it doesn't uh, line up with uh, rubber posts on the holes like the other ones do or there might be some of some of you might have a remote that does that this one doesn't and just make sure that spring is there and connected put that other one back and this one's all done here we go